If you need the go anywhere ability of all wheel drive and don't want to have to fork out for some big SUV, then check out the Suzuki SX4 because it's one of the most affordable ways of going off road. The jacked up suspension means you've got fairly decent ground clearance for getting over rigid such as this. And I've got intelligent all wheel drive. Now, all that does is send power to the back wheels when the front start to slip, but I can even put it into four wheel drive lock. So it's always permanent four wheel drive. And that's really good for getting over really slippy stuff. And yeah, this hill is actually quite slippy. But look at that, we got there, no problem at all. And the two litre diesel engine has got plenty of torque for just chugging you up steep inclines. If you live out in the hills in Wales or Scotland and you're worried about it snowing, get yourself one of these, set a winter tars on and you'll be able to keep moving no matter what the weather's like. All right, there we are, we're coming back onto the normal road now and I can put the car into two-wheel drive mode now to save fuel. When you're out on the road, you notice another advantage of the SX4's raised ride heights, and that's the fact that it gives you a good view over other traffic. The windscreen's very large as well, which aids forward visibility. And despite the fact these A-pillars are quite fat, it doesn't matter so much because you get these handy quarter lights. And the wing mirrors as well, they're nice and large too. Just because this car has a jacked up ride height, don't go thinking that makes it all wallowy in the corners because it actually handles quite well. The steering's sharp, there's lots of grip and there's hardly any body roll at all. Now you can thank the relatively firm suspension for that, but don't worry, it doesn't mean that this car's uncomfortable because it actually rides quite well. Another good thing about the SX4 is that despite its low price, it's actually pretty well equipped. For instance, all cars get stereo controls on the steering wheel, air conditioning, and remote central locking, which is handy. However, that does bring me on to the downsides because no models are available with ESP anti-ski control, which is a bit odd in this day and age. What's more, practicality isn't great either. Look, you can't alter the steering wheel, but reach. Ah, only height. And side door bins are small. There's no really useful central cupboards. You haven't even got an armrest, which is annoying. And the glove box is not particularly big. And look at that fit and finish. That's, that's pretty shonky, really, isn't it? In fact, all the materials feel a bit cheap and nasty. I think that if Poundland were to design car interiors, then they'd look a little bit like this. Then there's the back seats. And if I shuffle across, I'll explain that the problem isn't with headroom, but then it's not going to be easy. It's a tall vehicle. The issue is knee room. Look, there's hardly any, and I've got quite short legs. Anyone who's lanky could struggle back here. Also, this centre seat, it's pretty thin, which means it's almost redundant. It doesn't help the fact that because you've got a four-wheel drive system, you've also got a large transmission tunnel, which means, well, there's nowhere really to put your feet. Right, and let's move on to the boot for some other downsides. For instance, it's not particularly large. I mean, you can barely fit this case in lengthways. And yeah, while well, you can fold down the seats for more room, what do you do? You get this big lip. Now you can actually tumble them forward. There we go, just pulling this lever. But that doesn't actually free up any more absolute space. Plus, unlike on a Skoda Yeti, you can't actually remove the seat. And as a result, it's not quite as practical as a Skoda. Do you know what? It doesn't look as good as one either, does it? And I think overall, there's very little point buying the two-wheel drive version of the Suzuki SX4. However, this four-wheel drive model does actually make more sense because, like I said at the beginning, it's one of the cheapest ways of getting all-wheel drive go anywhere capability.